this is buffer exercise that we are going to attempt now. I've added the required layer, the digitized road layer, the state boundary, and also the raster image from where the roads have been digitized. Okay. So uh, let me first ensure that the digitization is complete and error free, but I can see an error here. To remove that error, uh, I would let me complete this road, connect this road. And here, it is connected and select, merge the road to make it one. Control, select, edit, merge the features, merge. Fine, now this problem is done, solved. We don't need this layer now. Now let us see what else is the problem here. You can identify there's a problem here. This much of road is extended further. Let us see what is the problem here. So let me just put this uh, this is fine so the additional part which is outside the falling outside the boundary of the state this here also outside the boundary of the state at two three places in fact this is fine this is okay one and two so this can be corrected in a very simple procedure go to vector geoprocessing tools clip your input layer is fine with which layer you're doing it state boundary and run close now now check this is this done yeah okay uncheck this so you can see this was an extended part and this is now clear and now clear this also yes now it's your map is ready Okay, let us check one more thing. Let us check the, it is WGS 84, okay? And the unit of measurement is here, degree. And what exercise that we are going to attempt, we, we want a five kilometers. So we need to first convert into UTM, data management tool, reproject layer, UTM 44 zone, check here, okay, run, close. You are now, check your reprojected layer, properties. Yes, and the unit of measurement is meter. Your layer is now ready for the buffering. Okay, uh, you want to make the color change go to symbology and let's make this color a little more bright for the roads okay now go to vector geoprocessing tool buffer i want to make it five kilometers select kilometers all other things are auto set just run close your buffered layer is ready now you want to put the road in uh, road your actual road to be visible take your road layer now your road is visible now you have the buffered layer ready with you you can make the changes in the color okay maybe somewhere here this color let's see okay this seems okay this is your buffer exercise ready. 
Okay, so now your buffer exercise, go to your buffer exercise, export, save as feature, give it a name and the path, NH buffer is already one, I'm making it another NH buffer. Okay, so NH buffer one is ready, okay successfully created let us uncheck this and uncheck this okay no you you need to have this row reprojected layer reprojected layer also here okay you can save your this reprojected layer similarly by exporting it and from here now you can create the layout map for your buffer layer Your, uh, you can do any other thing, change of color, design, pattern, whatever, whatever other aspect that you want to create, create, you can go to properties and do the other aspects of the display of this map. And from here, you follow the map layout procedure and create the layout map for layout map for the buffer exercise that has been done here.